welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be playing more Minecraft. This is episode 5 of my SMP series. I did a little bit of work off camera, mostly just this. This is all I did. And started smelting up some more cobblestone. And it is currently nighttime. Um, I do need to make a bed. That's one thing I don't have. Um... Do I not have any? Oh, I do have wool. One, two, three. All right. Uh, where's my wood? Do I haven't? Do I don't? Do I not have enough wood? I do. I have just enough wood. I really need to go chop some trees and get some wood. Uh, so, but I'll do that off camera. That's stuff that I don't need to do on camera. Anyway, so essentially. We're gonna go ahead, place down this bed, and sleep here. So it is now daytime, and still, there we go. Um, so I'm cooking up stone, you know, just or cooking up cobblestone, getting it to this uh, stone brick, so that I can finish all of this. Um, and I just remembered, after I get in from tomorrow, I will probably not want to do anything, so I decided to record it. This is late Wednesday night, um, probably 11, maybe even midnight-ish. Um, so, yeah. That's really just what I'm doing here. I I figured I would just record this because I don't like to do a ton off camera because um, I don't like to get yelled at in the comments below for doing tons of stuff off camera where no one can see me actually doing any of it. But on top of that, I just generally don't like doing things off camera. So now we have plenty of sugar cane. I just need leather so yeah um, well wheat's pretty good uh, I am the only one currently on the server it's not always gonna be like this there will be other people on hopefully we'll be getting uh, some new things started up soon I'm wanting to do like some a sort of uh, PvP thing like a tournament or something in the future let's just go ahead and polish this boom and polish this boom so I I while I'm thinking about it I will go ahead and lay down the floor for in here <clears throat> just because I have the opportunity. Anyway, so, as I get into discussing this, uh, and discussing a lot of stuff on this channel, um, it realistically, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. I know it's not been one of those things I can make money off of. I don't intend to. Um, it's just kind of, it's been a fun ride to say the least. Um, I've grew as a content creator, grew as a programmer and everything like that as I went through the process of not just YouTube, but just generally learning who I was and that's what happens as you grow and as you mature um, which is just a natural response to life and I know people are going to be like oh you're getting sappy or in depth with your personal life choices here but uh, it's it's been a fun road to say the least um, and that's really 
all I have to say on that. It's been a fun road. It's been a great time, and uh, I've really enjoyed the last five, six years. What, how, how long has it been? I think I started this channel in 2013. So it might be seven years. It might be seven years in September. I'll have to go back and look at that, but it, it possibly could be seven years. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me on that, even though it is my channel. Um, still, don't quote me on that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take out all this stone so we can get to work on the stone brick. I actually think I'm going to need more than this to get it to where I want it to be, but we will find out whenever I get there. So this is what we're going to be working on in this episode. It's one of the lighter episodes, but again, it's a Wednesday episode, firstly. Secondly, it's quite frankly... Um, it's a, not, not only is it a Wednesday episode, well, it's going up on Thursday, so I guess it's a, technically a Thursday episode, but it's recorded on Wednesday, so, Wednesday episode, but, uh, it, it's, it's, not only is it a Wednesday episode, but it's a Wednesday episode before a big day. Tomorrow, I will be performing with a couple of my friends. Uh, which, you know, it, it wasn't required by any means that I do it, but it is going to be fun, but it's also going to be tiring, which is part of the reason why I'm doing this. I wouldn't normally do this, uh, record late like this. Um, I normally stream this, but... I figured I'm going to want to get in tomorrow, put this on upload, and forget about it. Because I am going to be very tired tomorrow. So, here we are. Um, and hopefully you all are enjoying this series as much as I am. Quite frankly, I, I really enjoy this series. It's a fun series to do um it is a very good uh sort of laid back series where i can just talk to you guys and depending on when i'm recording it maybe drink a little you know just sort of hang out and talk with you uh with the, my viewers no matter who you are and that's why i do it in a streaming format mostly is because you know, without that streaming format, it's quite a bit harder to actually interact with you guys. Even though I don't interact with you realistically on a regular basis during those streams, because I don't have the chat pulled up, because I don't have a second monitor, or uh, and I don't really use my phone for that particular usage. Uh, but... That, that's that's all I have to say to that is yeah. Um, so realistically, as I go through my time and I bide my time as I exit high school and go into college and things like that, it's going to be fun. But it's also going to be very, very, very stressful. Um, and that's why I will possibly, uh, between August and uh, maybe in November, be taking a hiatus from YouTube and just general content creation in, uh, in all as I head off into a new port place and a new opportunity in life, it's something sometimes you just have to do. You have to step back. You have to uh, sort of 
find yourself in a different setting and get used to that setting before you know you can really get back to your usual life so that's realistically what I'm going to be doing whenever I go into college I will be taking a hiatus to get used to the campus get used to the classes and the core curriculum and then I will be back uh, doing my my YouTube Minecraft thing but for the next couple of months at least, I hope to be having these videos out regularly. Um, and not just videos, but mostly live streams on a regular basis. Um, and just realistically getting into content creation on a steady stream for the first time ever. Like... If you've seen my channel, I'm not generally consistent. And that's a massive issue that I've had. And I try every time I try to address it, I just get caught up in what I'm doing in life. And I understand at the moment this is just a hobby. But if I want it to become more than that, I have to commit time to it. And that's one thing that I just have not been able to do lately and won't be able to do... Uh, as I begin college, but as it gets more towards the end, if you know my high school experience, uh, you know I went through a lot as a kid, and on top of that, I did a lot uh, of extracurriculars. Uh, this year alone, I'm in four separate extracurriculars. Is it four? No, it's five. I'm doing powerlifting, track, uh, wrestling, which I did and got second place in, and I'm very happy about. Um, and what what's that other one? Uh, there's powerlifting, track, uh, wrestling, uh, choir, and band. So I'm, I do a lot at the moment, and the thing with college is. I'm nowhere near good enough to compete on a collegiate level in anything that I've done in high school. I know that and accept that. I'm just not. While I do lift a lot and I do a lot of things like that, and I am trying to get more into lifting outside of practice as I do have a gym literally on my uh, in my apartment complex, uh, I've very much so sort of taken that out of my life in a lot of ways because I just can't be bothered or don't have the time. But again, as you age and as you go on, you have to learn about time management. You have to understand that everything has to be given a specific amount of time. So my video recordings, I've set it up to take maybe 30 minutes to an hour every day. Uh, and that sort of gives me an outline for what I have to work on for that specific day um, and everything like that. Um, just in general, generally speaking, about 20 to 30 minutes is left up for my weightlifting daily um which is something i will be trying to start to actually keep with because lately i just have not been able to keep with it and it's actually kind of sad because i know i could but I just haven't applied myself to actually get my, uh, my, what you want to call it, in ch my schedule in check. I just haven't really paid too much attention towards getting my schedule corrected. And that's a massive flaw with me, I understand, but it, it's something, I, you know, you just have to change. It has to come... And this is as you, not only as you age, but as you understand these things, 
you generally should change. None of us are amazing human beings. None of us are Christ. None of us are even close to a Christ figure. So the idea that we don't need to change doesn't really make much sense. We as a human being must change in a lot of ways. We may not want to change, but wanting to do something and actually getting it done are two completely different things. Whenever you want to change, you're not necessarily going to do it because you're lazy in that regard. And I've been lazy in that regard quite frequently. In this aspect, more than I would have to say any other. I have sucked at time management um, and I've gotten better with time, but... It's still, I still struggle with time management, obviously. Um, but that's really the gist of a lot of my problems now. I sort of kicked a lot of the other problems I had, a lot of the issues, and uh, that's just one of the leftover residue that's there from not my past, I wouldn't consider it my past life because that's not really an issue with my past life, but uh, with just who I am, I've never been a very precise person, and it's just always been a struggle to actually get to that point to uh, actually stay with something after you commit to do it. I know for a lot of people, you're like, oh, it's, it's just commitment. You have to understand it. And I know I have to understand it, and I want to do it, and I will try to get better with it. And that's just what it comes down to with me. I will try to get better with it, but I'm not promising success. Nor would I expect success from every human being on every situation um, but like I said I know we're getting in depth here and sort of on a deeper spectrum than what should normally be talked about in a damn Minecraft video but um, that's just that, that's just my thoughts so I guess you could say thoughts thoughts Whoever start uh, getting on a lighter note, whoever started that whole thing with thoughts, like you're a bat hoe over there. That th that's what that means. It makes no sense, and uh, no grammatical sense, much less any sense. Whenever you're saying it, I, I don't. Maybe maybe it's just me looking too far into it, but. It, it just seems kind of stupid. I don't even know if they use thoughts anymore. See, I don't know a lot about my generation. and Or my sister's generation, to be honest. I don't... I guess you could say I'm an old, older soul. Um, in a lot of ways. Of course, an old soul nowadays is uh, even worse, even newer than me. My soul is older than an old soul in the modern day. It's very weird. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I was just too... I'm, I'm a bit different for this modern world, to say the least. Um... I generally hold to traditionalist values, um, which is something not a lot of people in the new generation hold to. And it, it, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just one of those things that realistically may hold me back is my traditionalist values, even though as a human being, it shouldn't. 
because they're my values. I don't hold anyone's values uh, responsible for their actions. I hold them responsible for their actions. If someone kills someone, I hold them responsible. It's not their value system that I hold responsible. If someone attacks someone verbally or abusively, just in general, I will not throw shade at that person's ideology. I will, however, throw shade at that person individually. Just like if someone shoots a man. I don't throw shade at everyone who uses guns. I throw shade intentionally at someone who shot someone. Because the trigger can't pull itself. Uh, that's realistically what it comes down to. A gun is only as powerful as a human who uses it. Not not to say that it doesn't increase their power. It increases their power to choose of life and death. Which is not necessarily... I guess it's not necessarily a good thing. But still. Um, it's also one of those things where if you come and threaten me, you'll have the end of a 45 waiting on you at my doorway. But, I digress. It realistically... Only comes into issue... With people who know nothing about them. I, I don't like legislators... Who talk about guns. Especially those who know nothing about them. These are people with million dollar families who really have never had to protect a family in their lives and pass on bullshit claims to people who have absolutely no idea about guns anyway. And I'm so vigorous on this issue because I own many of them. And if they pass these laws, I would be brandished as a criminal for owning some of the guns that I have. Simply because they have a pistol grip. Keep in mind, I live in Louisiana, so not a lot of these laws are going to get passed. But still, the idea that you are going to lock up a, an American citizen for owning a rifle scares me. And it scares me to no end. Not only because I know people who own rifles, but also because that's very unconstitutional. No one seems to care. And this generation has spent more time looking at fucking memes than actually doing anything to try and change their society. Oh, Taylor Swift talked about guns being bad. Then they must be bad. That's like me saying dogs eat their shit, so let me do it too. Doesn't really work out. Unless you like to eat your shit. In which case, you're a fucking weirdo. Why are you eating your shit? I guess would be that whole spew, but I don't... Again, I have no issue with people who actually want to have discussion about the legality and gun safety. But I've not seen a single person who's talked about limiting gun use that has had a discussion with anybody on any side of the argument other than their own where... They want to discuss legality, lethality, or anything of that nature regarding weapons. I've not seen it. And keep in mind, I live in a damn deep red state in a deep blue district.
I live in a deep blue district of a deep red state. So these are things that if they were happening, should happen on the streets that I walk on. Because these are the people that can be most negotiated with. And eh, keeping in mind our massive problem with drugs and alcohol use, but uh, again, I digress. Which has only gotten worse as we continue to be an oil dominant society and we struggle whenever the price of oil drops across the globe. It's funny whenever Saudi Arabia can literally change the outlook on our entire economy. And if you don't know where I'm talking about, go ahead and look up oil. You'll find a few states, most of them southern, and you will be able to choose. Or you can just go back into the past in this video where I said the state that I live. And you can look up the district maps to see what two districts I possibly live in. Damn. I almost did it. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. But it's 8 apiece, so I'll just put 16 in. Do, 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 do. So as we wait for this, um, I want to know, do you come to me for spitting, uh, commentaries or do you come to me for multiplayer games or do you come to me for actual topics of political discussion? I, I want to know what you come to this channel for. Um, I know I do have a lot of political discussion and a lot of discourse on this channel. If you just go back through the years, you'll find a lot of my political statements, political discussions, not only with myself, but no, I don't actually think I've had any discussions with anyone else. Um, but anyway, it, it all comes down to, um, I'm, I'm very vocal on my opinions. Uh, and you can be too. I don't care if you are. If you're vocal on your opinions, though, don't get angry and run away whenever someone comes at you with facts. Whenever someone comes at you with the idea, the ideas that derail your ideal, don't run away. One, because that makes you look weak. I mean, not only does it make you look weak, but it shows that you lost your discussion. Um, and I wouldn't even call these debates that I have with some people. It's mostly discussion that divulges into them screaming at me uh, angrily um, and eventually threatening to beat me physically uh, because I will not change my ideals based on their feelings. Uh, that comes to a head with um, uh, the issue of LGBTQIA plus uh, WXYZ, whatever the fuck. I, I, don't, I don't care. I will voice my opinion. You can hate it. I don't care. But it, it just generally doesn't end well for me. So with my farm like this, um, it's like two and a half stacks of seeds. Uh, I think next episode I'm going to work which next episode is going to be Friday's video 
um, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting glass, a ton of it, for the greenhouse. But for now, we're going to try and fill up this farm so that I have tons of seeds to put in said greenhouse and I can do a lot. Do do do. Do do do. Oh, cool. Bloop. And bloop. So anyway, my, my views have gotten me almost beat up on a number of occasions. Mostly by people who just want to, someone to scream at. And that's really all it comes down to. Like, I care for you, and that's why I talk to you. I want to get your opinion, and that's why I discuss with you. I don't hate you, and I'm, I don't ever want anyone to think that I hate them for any ideals that they have. I don't, it, it, it comes to a head, actually, I would say, with a lot of people simultaneously despising me, despite the fact that I don't hate them. Boom. Daytime again. All right, where's my hoe? Um, after I extend the farm out and after I do all of this, I should be done with this episode, actually. Um, so, like I said, next episode, I do plan on getting the glass. Um, I did see a desert biome, but I don't think I took a screenshot of it. Uh, of its cord, so I'll ask around in the Discord and see if anyone actually has the cords for it. Um, but I hope they do. I hope they do. Um, so, anyway, over here I will place the wheat. We have a t we have a decent amount of wheat for the amount of time that I've been playing. Uh, I believe this is like the fifth day and I only realistically only got on for like server either server events where I didn't gain anything or you know stuff like that so I didn't I haven't been on mining all the time like a lot of the others have and I haven't been doing a whole ton of recording I've just been recording the one 30 to 40 minute video a day um, so, four, five, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Shit. One, two, three, four, which means all of this should be saturated all out to here. So, I'm not sure, but I think this should be enough farmland. Uh, I probably will end up doing maybe one or two more crop harvests on this massive ass, random ass wheat farm. That is on the edge of the uh, lake here. <laughs> One off. Uh, and then I will not do any more harvesting until I have the, um, the massive ass uh, wheat greenhouse done. I do plan on doing like, uh, let's see, so. It's going to be a lot of glass, actually. 
I, I don't think it's just gonna be dedicated to wheat. I was thinking it would be initially, but now I'm thinking I won't do that. Anyway, hopefully you all did enjoy. This was actually a longer recording session. Um, like I said, hopefully you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.